Hey, what's up everyone, my name is Thijs and welcome to Dual Wielded. This is the second devlog for a city builder and manager I'm working on with two other guys with the goal to spread awareness of plastic pollution and how you can help by recycling correctly. So since the last devlog, a couple of things have changed. First of all, as you can see, there's a new stat bar. It shows you your current amount of money. This is money you can spend on buying houses to increase your citizen capacity. What well, I mean... So, so far that's the only thing you can do with it. But later you can buy factories, supermarkets, upgrades for both of these and campaigns to teach your citizens about recycling. These all sound very specific so let me tell you about them a little bit more in depth. So at some point your citizens really want plastic products because other cities have those as well and if you don't supply them with the amount of plastic they desire their mood value will decrease. So you'll have to build factories that produce plastic and possibly supermarkets that sell items containing plastic. You can upgrade the factory's production rate as I said before. So now instead of this really well designed button there's this cool store menu you can open up. Houses now actually cost money so Garrett reminded me to test if the house offset was good and if it actually made sense to players. This is done because the game is a mobile game and the players fingers would cover the house they're trying to place so they won't be able to see exactly where they're going to place it. I haven't looked into this yet but I definitely will. As you can see there's this bigger house in the middle of the city. Well that's the mayor house. If you click on it you can change the amount of taxes your citizens have to pay. So let's, uh, oh, I mean, the, the system is pretty broken to be honest. So the more taxes your citizens have to pay, the lower their mood will be. This isn't a thing just yet, which is also why it's really broken right now. Also, your citizens have to pay taxes every single second, which I'm pretty sure is, a, uh, well, not okay either. Since there are a lot of different stat values that change each other, it's very difficult to balance this correctly. So there's a website that will help you do this. It's called Machination... Machine.io. It's a tool to help you simulate the game system and its values. So this is an extremely simple version of our game right now, but this was kind of a test and us getting to know the tool and what we could use it for. The pulse adds 5 to the money value every second, but that 5 is connected to the value that's over here, which is taxes the citizens have to pay. That times the number of citizens is what gets added up. So these triangles are buttons. So for instance, whenever I buy a house, the money value is subtracted by the house price and the house amount value increases with one. Again, this is an extremely simple simulation. Not a lot happens, but this can obviously be expanded on and be used to simulate exactly the flow of the game, which in turn allows us to easily balance it all beforehand instead of having to finish all of these systems in Unity and change a lot of floats and integers later to try and balance it a little. I also added a main menu. <laughs> Well, it's not really finished yet. By the way, all of these are temporary sprites from different tile sets. I started working on some sprites for the regular house and the plastic factory. Also, the more plastic waste the houses produce, the more you'll see as a mayor that you should definitely start taking actions. And well, that's somewhat everything that has been added since. It doesn't look like much, but we've been focusing a lot on back-end stuff, making sure the code is clean and reusable and that we can easily add all of the other buildings and stats later. This video was a little shorter than usual and in my opinion it lacked the quality I normally try to give my videos. The past week has been very hectic for me. I was very busy with school because I had to finish a lot of stuff before the holidays and the other half of my spare time I spent with my friends. I just haven't had any time to work on this devlog is really what I'm trying to say. But now that Christmas break is finally a thing, I can assure you that I'll be putting a lot more time in next week's video and the next Plastic City Builder devlog, which will come out in two weeks. Thanks a lot for watching though, a like would definitely be appreciated if you enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't already, you can join my Discord server and subscribe if you're interested in doing so. Thanks again and I'll see you next week. Merry Christmas everyone! glitch confirmed right here do you happen to be a mayor like uh, like mayor laser and you're looking for a free real life money money glitch all you have to do is just uh, raise the taxes your citizens have to pay and, and uh, yeah yeah for me it works every time so yeah guys leave a like if this glitch works for you and please don't tell the creators of this game because my dad actually works on xbox and he can get you banned from life in no time, so uh, yeah, good luck with that, guys. 
Well, but see, leave again. Uh, if you want to win some free V Bucks, you can join the the the, the link. Okay. Yeah.